Hello, welcome to another Talking Objects with me, Tim Pestle, Curator of Archaeology at Norwich Castle Museum and Art Gallery. Today what I'd like to talk about is a wonderful gold pendant cross from the medieval period. And this is something that, because it's made of gold, seems obviously attractive to talk about. In actual fact, the story behind it is, I think, quite interesting. So the object, as you can see, is really quite diminutive. It's a lovely little cross that would have been worn around the neck as a, a personal token or amulet, as a sort of good luck charm, as well as a symbol of faith. And the interesting thing about this particular cross is not so much that it's made of a precious metal, which therefore suggests that it was uh, something that belonged to a, a wealthier person and was a treasured possession, but the actual form of the cross. As you can see, it's a very delicate thing that's made of thin pieces of twisted gold rod with little pellets that have been soldered onto the ends and at the top this ribbed loop. Now pendant crosses in the medieval period are relatively common and more common in design are things like this little pendant cross which has uh, an Agla inscription on it which maybe in another Talking Objects we'll go into but it's of a far more common type slightly earlier 12th 13th century and slightly later these rather tiny little Tau pendant crosses and if you want to know more about the Tau Cross of St Anthony, have a look at our other talking objects about the statue of St Anthony that we have and all will be revealed. But the point about our gold item is not so much that it was found in Norfolk, it was found by a metal detectorist near Holt uh, on the North Norfolk coast, but the fact that it has very, very few parallels. And that's really the interesting point, because where we do have the parallels, they're found not in England, but in Norway, in Denmark, and in the Netherlands. So we have, for instance, uh, an example from Odense in Denmark. There's another example from Norway. And perhaps most interesting, there was an object, a cross like this, that was excavated from Sora in Zealand, uh, actually from an abbey church. And these all demonstrate that this particular cross is almost certainly not manufactured in England, but is more probably of a type associated with Orthodox Christianity in the Eastern Baltic. And it therefore speaks of a different form of Christianity, presumably permeating to Norfolk. And the interesting thing about it appearing on the North Norfolk coast is Norfolk, of course, is internationally connected in the medieval period. Norfolk is immensely important for its international contacts, not only for material coming in, but for the exports in particular things like wool that Norfolk uh, had in abundance in the medieval period. And it's what brought it much of its wealth, which, which is then reflected in the parish churches that you see within the county. So this particular cross, rather small as it is, actually speaks of a much larger uh, period of the past when international contacts were certainly not as um, comfortable as they are today. Uh, taking a ship on a crossing across the North Sea could be literally a matter of life and death. There were certainly no planes or ferries to catch. And so travel across the North Sea was both dangerous but immensely popular because of the needs of trade and exchange. And not only objects came across the North Sea, but so did ideas and faith. And with it could come little tokens of that, such as you see in this absolutely beautiful cross. I hope you've enjoyed this short Talking Objects, and if you'd like to see any of the other stories that we have, please check out our other videos. Thanks then.